It's a well-known fact that, unless you're a trained survivalist or know just about everything there is to know about all species of plants, you shouldn't touch or taste anything that's unknown, no matter how pretty or delicious it may look. Coming up, we'll explore some of the deadliest plants, including the water hemlock, the white snake root, and even the tobacco plant. We take a look at some of the most toxic plants and flowers and the horrifying things they do to your body. The Water Hemlock The water hemlock is one plant that's not to be messed with. Upon first inspection, it looks like nothing more than an innocent wildflower, but it's best to leave this one right where it is. That's because it's a close relative to the poisonous hemlock that is said to have killed Socrates and has earned the title of the most violently toxic plant in North America. Because it resembles root vegetables like celery and parsnips, some might mistake it for food, but I bet they wouldn't do it twice if they were even lucky enough to survive the first time. The plant contains a deadly toxin called cicutoxin, and the highest concentration of this is in its roots, which is likely what the victim would eat first. Once eaten, this plant causes convulsions, stomach cramps, nausea, kidney failure, and death. And it's been proven to have the power to kill a cow in as little as 15 minutes. However, if you're lucky enough to survive the poisoning, you might expect amnesia and or long-term tremors. So, unless you're absolutely sure that what you're eating is a wild, edible vegetable, it's probably just best to leave them alone. Oleander Now don't be mistaken, this beautiful flower can pack quite the punch. While it might make a gorgeous centerpiece on your dining room table, the last place that you want this flower is around your food. It's commonly grown for outdoor landscaping. But then again, I would only do so with extreme caution as even touching this plant can cause unwanted side effects. If you ingest any part of this plant, which contains high levels of cardiac glycosides, you can expect to experience vomiting, diarrhea, an unstable fast pulse, seizures, and even coma or death. However, death is often rare, because after the first bite, you'll likely spit it out because it's extremely bitter. Even if you touch the plant's leaves or happen to get sap on your fingers, it can badly irritate your skin. Bee farmers have to be exceptionally careful not to have this plant on their property. That's because some people have gotten sick from eating the honey from the bees that have landed on these flowers. I think it's safe to say that if you have small children or pets, you shouldn't even tempt fate by using these flowers as an outdoor decoration. The Suicide Tree Related to oleander, the suicide tree is also called Cerebra odellum and is used to commit suicide and murder more than any other plant in the world. And no, it isn't caused by hanging oneself. The seeds of the tree are highly toxic, containing a toxin known as cerebrin. Cerebrin disrupts calcium ion channels in the heart, and that leads to an irregular heartbeat. And depending on how many seeds the person has ingested, it can lead to death. One of its biggest selling points for murderers is that it's often overlooked in autopsies. And not only that, the seeds of the suicide tree are quite palatable and easy to mask within food. So, between the fact that it often isn't tested in autopsies, combined with its versatile use in the kitchen, it makes the perfect weapon of choice for any would-be assassin. You know, just in case you're in the market for that sort of thing. The Castor Oil Plant Now you might remember this plant from one of our other videos, but in case you missed it, here's a refresher. The castor oil plant contains a substance called ricin, and even though it sounds like a delicious Asian dish, I definitely wouldn't want to eat it. Ricin is a protein that affects the cells of protein builders, leading to organ damage. And like botulism, this substance would make an effective weapon for biological warfare. It only takes about one milligram of ricin, whether inhaled or ingested, to be used to kill an adult. And for that reason, it's often the poison of choice for many novice murderers. It's even made an appearance on the popular television show Breaking Bad as a popular poisoning option, especially because it's easy to obtain and extraordinarily effective. But if you're not using it for mass murder, 
I'd recommend not even purchasing one of these decorative plants. White Snake Root Nancy Hanks, which was Abraham Lincoln's mother, died from white snake root, but it wasn't because she ingested the plant firsthand. She just went to the kitchen, poured a glass of milk, and shortly after, she kicked the bucket. That's because the cow that had produced the milk had previously eaten white snake root, which is kind of terrifying. White snake root is described as an herb that sprouts clusters of white flowers, and it might be in your own backyard. These plants contain a poison called Tremetol, and while rare, you might be able to find it in your local grocery store, as this toxin can be present in both the milk and the meat of a cow that is munched on the poisonous plant. So, if you happen to get sick from what is called milk poisoning, which was a common ailment in the 19th century, you can expect such great symptoms as nausea, weakness, stomach pain, a reddened tongue, acidic blood, and of course, death. Even though modern farmers try their best to make sure the plant is not in their cows grazing pastures, it's still another reason to give up red meat. Rosary Pea Often referred to as crab's eye, these highly toxic seeds are found in tropical areas and are native to Indonesia. The seeds are commonly made into jewelry, including prayer rosaries, and are sometimes used for making percussion instruments. If fully intact with no scratches or splits, the seeds are harmless, but once opened, trust me, you'll be clutching that rosary and praying for relief. The seeds contain a toxin called abrin, which acts similarly to ricin. Abrin inhibits the function of your ribosomes. The ribosome's job is to synthesize proteins, and without that capability, your organs will begin to shut down. This lethal toxin can cause major organ failure in as little as four days. But the scary part is that it takes less than one seed to kill a human. Sadly enough, many jewelry makers have actually become sick or even died after accidental exposure while working with the seeds. As much as it sounds like hearsay, I'd throw out any rosary pea rosaries that you may have lying around. You know, just in case. Deadly Nightshade Unlike the ever-popular candy, first, Deadly Nightshade is sweet, and then it becomes very sour. If you happen to be traveling in central or southern Eurasia and see a plant with a dull green leaf and a large, shiny black berry, you probably shouldn't touch it, no matter how tempting it may look. The leaves alone have enough of the toxin known as atropine and scopolamine to cause skin irritation and if eaten, they can literally stop your heart and cause paralysis within other involuntary muscles in your body. The problem is, though, that these berries are deliciously sweet, so they're often eaten by mistake, especially by children. Wolfsbane Also called monk's hood and the devil's helmet, this plant can be found in gardens as well as wooded areas. Even though it's used in Chinese medicine, in large doses, it can kill you almost instantaneously. This plant contains the toxins aconitine and cardiotoxins, so if eaten, you can expect symptoms to start within one hour, including nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which are often followed by a burning, tingling, and numbing sensation in your face, as well as a burning sensation in your stomach. If you've eaten a lethal dose, you can expect to die in as little as two hours due to heart or respiratory paralysis. These properties are what made it a popular poison to put on the tips of arrows for hunting in war. In recent news, a gardener tending to an estate in the UK accidentally brushed up against a wolfsbane plant while gardening, collapsed, was rushed to the hospital, and then died five days later from organ failure because the doctor could not determine what was wrong with the otherwise healthy 33-year-old. While they do make a beautiful addition to any garden, it's best not to decorate your home with this lethal flower. The Manchineel Tree The Manchineel Tree, which produces a fruit commonly known as the Little Apple of Death, is probably the most toxic tree on our list. It's usually found in the Caribbean and in South and Central America, but recently it's been spotted in Southern Florida and tends to grow along the coastline. Despite its more welcoming appearance and deliciously sweet fruit, it's highly recommended that you stay far, far away. 
In fact, don't even touch it, don't ingest it, and don't breathe the air around it, because doing so could prove to be lethal. If you happen to lean against the tree and the sap touches your skin, it causes a burning sensation followed by blistering. And if you get it in your eye, it can cause temporary blindness. Now, if you stupidly eat the little apple of death, you're likely going to experience nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, along with seizures. And you may also experience a burning sensation in your throat and mouth combined with a tightness in your throat that won't allow you to swallow anything solid. And of course, if eaten in large quantities, these little fruits can kill you. Therefore, if you're ever caught out in the rain without an umbrella and the mansion ill tree is your only option, I would just get a little bit soaked. Tobacco. Yes, that's right. This substance that you can find in your local grocery store or gas station is deemed one of the most toxic plants on the planet Earth. Every single inch of the plant contains a toxin known as anabasin and nicotine alkaloids. We've all heard that smoking tobacco can lead to respiratory issues, cancer, and heart disease, but what about consuming it? Well, that can be just as lethal. Just 50 milligrams of nicotine alone can induce respiratory failure and paralysis, while smaller amounts can cause dizziness, nausea, heart palpitations, and high blood pressure. Liquid nicotine, on the other hand, is even more dangerous, and one tablespoon is strong enough to kill a human being. Just touching liquid nicotine can cause dizziness, high blood pressure, and even seizures. But when would you ever come in contact with it? Well, if you smoke an e-cigarette, it's in those, and it's also found in pesticides. Which is appealing, eh? To put things into perspective, one cigarette contains 3 milligrams of nicotine, and if you've ever smoked, you know the dizziness and nausea that just one can cause. In addition to the unpleasant effects, it also acts like a good cup of coffee in that it wakes you up and makes you feel good. But that also means that it's highly addictive. An average of 5 to 6 million people die worldwide every year from tobacco-related incidents, making it the most lethal plant in the world. This has been a look at some of the deadliest plants and flowers that we've ever found. But have we missed any? Let me know all about it in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Ricin. No, this isn't found at your favorite Chinese restaurant. It's actually found in the castor oil plant, which is also commonly used as a decoration. Ricin is a protein that affects cells protein builders, leading to organ damage.